you know, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So, how bizarre, right? Hey, everybody. How's it going? Hey, Holly. Um, you know, this is bizarre, so I've never done this. Um, <laughs> I get pimples, too. Cool. So, usually I have makeup on. Usually my hair's done a little better. It's Friday. I've been sitting here writing copy all day. And um, <laughs> so you'll have to excuse me. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to get some feedback on this, if not from you guys, from uh, the person who lives here with me. So uh, typically, like I said, I do a little bit of makeup, but I haven't done that yet. But uh, it's 3.35 on a Friday afternoon. And you know it was amazing? Yesterday I did a quick periscope. And I walked upstairs and started to watch it. And I said, oh my gosh, look. I have this huge blemish on the side of my face. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm 52 and I have a zit. And it's not just one. I have a little skin issue here lately. What does that have to do with anything, Diane? I'm sure you're asking that, right? It's like, you know what I started thinking about? You know, I try so hard. And I think we all do to show our best side. Um, as I sit here in a, you know, v-neck t-shirt and shorts with no shoes or socks or anything else, right? Um, guess what? We never would have noticed, right? Exactly. And you know what? That's a great point. I, you know, and now I need these, right? So I can't even for sure see who that was, but, um, right? Because now I have to have readers. Not that I haven't worn contacts since I was in the fifth grade and had glasses since I was in kindergarten, right? Now I have to have these. Um, but it's so interesting because I thought to myself, you know what? Perfect doesn't exist, and I'm pretty good about like revealing my blemishes, right? Hey, there, I've got a, I've got this issue, and I've got that issue, and it, and that, as much as I want people to see the good things that are happening in my life and in my business and all of that, because we all aspire, you know, to better things. Hey, Ellen, <laughs> great. Um, you know, we all want to aspire to that, but you know what? None of us have perfect lives. And sometimes it irritates me when I think, you know, I look at these people and they never show you any side of themselves other than the perfect piece. Let me tell you, I love my business. I love what I do. I love my clients. I love making a difference in people's lives. And, it, you know, it's just part of the reason that I do what I do. It's the biggest part of it. But you know what? My life isn't perfect. I mean, I have struggles, you know, and it's the exact same struggles everybody else does, right? Perfect doesn't exist. Exactly, Holly. And you know what? Why is it that we, like, expect that or that we want that or that people are afraid to show that? Look, and this is the pot calling the kettle black a little bit, right? Vulnerability is difficult for me. I'm just, I'm, you know, I don't know why this popped up, but uh, this, I'm, somebody needs to hear this. Um, that's the way it happens when I share stuff. Vulnerability has always been hard for me. Um, and I think it's because it's the perfectionist in me, right? It's that I want things to be right, not only for me, but for everybody around me, everybody that I care about, everybody that's doing business with me. And I get really frustrated because I have that high standard for myself, not for anybody else, but for myself, when it doesn't happen that way. And yet, there's also the this part of me, right? As opposed to the this part of me, that's supposed to be my heart, which some people think I don't have, but it's in there somewhere. Um, and I think it's the conflict, right? But, so when I thought about doing this, I thought, you know, I could go upstairs and put a little makeup on, and I could do my hair a little bit more. It's getting a little long. I'm getting it done next Friday, blah, blah, blah. And I thought, you know what? I am who I am. And you know what? People either like me for who I am or they don't. And I think that's so true in our businesses, right? We strive so hard to have make everybody like us. It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen, right? We're not for everybody. And I was on a coaching call yesterday and a couple of my clients were going through this. Um, you know, yeah, but Diane, I don't want to offend this person because they bring me business or they have a lot of contacts or whatever it is. Well, you know what? That's great. But what are you willing to put up with? What are you willing? <laughs> Hello to my sister and my niece. You know what, guys? So this is so cool. Um, I live in Atlanta, as some of you know, and my family is all in Ohio, my blood family. And, and uh, of course, I have blood family and I have you know, the family I've chosen, but my brother and sisters and my nieces are all in Ohio. And, uh, this is a totally an offshoot and totally off the subject. 
and we don't get to see each other very often because I don't travel up there very much and, and they don't either. And uh, so I just think it's really cool. I can't even tell you like how touched I am. For the last two days, my oldest niece has gotten on and listened to me and my sister watched on replay and now they're both on this Periscope. How I just think it's cool. And you know, they're not business people, but you know, they're on supporting me. So um, thanks guys. I love both of you very much. But so back to the point, sorry, I, I just had to do that. The point of the matter is, is that we're never going to make everybody happy and you're not for everybody. And you know what? Ellen said we wouldn't have noticed the pimple in the makeup, right? And you know what? That's the point. That's exactly the point. And that's what I want you to hear. The people who love what you do, the people who, who love the fact that I'm just this goofy, funny kind of, you know, I think I'm funny, so I'm funny. Um, the people who are who resonate with that resonate with that and they don't care if I have on a t-shirt or if I'm dressed up or if my pimple's showing or if my hair's done perfectly or any of that right that's our hang-ups they're gonna love you just because you you do great content or because they resonate with you or because you say things that they get and I know I'm not supposed to talk with my hands right I sit still um, <laughs> and so stop trying to be for everybody be for the people who love you. Be with the people that are that are you're supposed to be there for. Because, yeah, there are probably a lot of people you could connect with that have influence. There are a lot of people that you could connect with that could send you business. But you know what? If they're a pain in the butt and they pull the rug out from under you and they create stress for you, right? <laughs> hey, Sandra. Then it's just not worth it. I'm here to tell you, all the money in the world isn't worth a headache and hassle and pain in the butt if people are going to make you feel bad. If people, and that's a whole nother subject, right? People don't make you feel bad, you feel bad. But if people aren't right in your life, then go, move on, say goodbye. Because here's what I know, after being in business for 17 years, I, I should have started everything I did sooner, right? You, everybody's learned this lesson. But here's the thing that I would say to you. Anytime you let somebody go, a vendor, an employee, a client, an associate, a, a spouse, partner, I hate to say that, but sometimes that's the deal, right? What happens? There, you, there's a vacuum or a hole that's created in the world because now there's a void in your life, in your business, in your whatever. It gets filled. And it gets filled faster than we think it's going to get filled. And so we live in this fear. And again, I talked yesterday in the Periscope about white knuckling. We white knuckle. We hold on to things longer than we should. Well, and I had somebody in my coaching call say yesterday, well, you're right, Diane. Um, I should let this person go. I thought they were calling to, to, to resign the other day, and I was so relieved. And that's not what they were calling for. That's a big sign, <laughs> right, that you should let this person go. But she said, yeah, but somebody else is leaving and this and that. Your life, your business, your world is never going to be 100% perfect. So stop trying to make it perfect. Do with what you have in front of you. The perfection will come because everything will fall into place exactly the way it is supposed to be. Hey, Diana. And, uh, oh, see, Sandra has a sign on the wall that says that. Um, maybe it might even have been my influence that, that created that, right? But here's the thing, you guys. Go with what you what you feel in your gut. Now, I'm not talking about being irresponsible as a business owner and, you know, firing your whole team and then wondering how you're going to get your work done, right? But if if you feel like somebody, you hope somebody's going to call and quit <laughs> and you're almost disappointed that they didn't, there's a sign there. So... You know, here's my point, and, and I tend to be long with these because I love teaching and interacting. Um, here's the point. The point of the matter is, not only do I have a pimple on my face, I have some moles and, you know, some blemishes, and I even have an age spot or two on my arm. I really hate it. Um, you know, my skin isn't soft and supply like it used to be because I'm 52, and, you know, it, it's chicken skin, as, as somebody so lovingly said to me the other day. But you know what? It is what it is. And if that's what, if that's the reason somebody loves you, or I'm getting a lot of love today, so I'm going to talk more about this kind of stuff. Um, a lot of hearts. Thanks, guys. Um, then it is what it is. And, and let, sometimes you just have to let go. Because 
you know what? I could have this mole removed, but this this pimple, this zit, as we used to call them, right? It's not going to go away till it's healed, till it's ready, right? Beautiful chicken skin. Thanks, Heather. Um, it's there. It's part of me, right? You know, I had some of these removed a few years ago, and some of them came back. First time I ever got a mole come back when I had it removed. So you know what? Maybe it's supposed to be there. I don't know what for. Maybe it's character lines. Maybe it's, you know, whatever. But the bottom line is this. Those of you who, who want the information, who love the content, who who like what I do. I had somebody send me a note on Facebook. Um, thanks, Rick. He says, you're great and we love you. I had somebody on Facebook after I published the one yesterday said, I love you, Diane. And I'm like, I didn't really talk about anything that cool, right? But when people resonate, that's what they're going to do. Whether you're in a t-shirt, whether you have a... You know, everything in the right place or you don't, you know, I would show you, but my, you know, my office is a mess at the moment, which is, which is uh, atypical for me. Right. But it is what it is. So here's what I'm going to say to you. It's a Friday. Whatever you have planned for this weekend, go have some fun. Go do something just off the wall, crazy, have some fun, be you and watch what happens. You know, take the steps you need to take in your business, do what you know is right and take the action. Once you take the action, guess what? Everything's going to fall into place, right? Exactly, Ellen. Ellen says you have to take action even when things aren't perfect. And that's the point. It's never going to be a perfect time. You're, it's never going to be the right time to, to buy the house, to start the business, to hire the new person. So I'm going to leave you with this thought. When I hired my first person full-time in the business, I was so stressed out. I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm not sure I'm ready. I would have, I should have, I should have done it a year before because guess what happened? As soon as I hired her, more income came enough, much more than I needed to pay her. Right? So those things just happen. It's the way life works and it's the way business works. So don't hide behind the camera, right? Or hide behind the veil because you have a pimple, because you have a mole, because you didn't put makeup on and you don't look like you have any eyelashes, right? Give people part of you, let them love you or not love you. It, it is what it is, and go on and have fun. So do something fun this weekend. I will see you guys probably on Monday because uh, you know what? I made a decision two and a half years ago that I was taking weekends off. And so I got to run because I got to go upstairs and change my clothes because uh, the youngest one has a school activity tonight. And then we're going to listen to some music at a free concert. So uh, thanks for all the love you guys are giving me. I appreciate it. Go do something just totally sporadic and fun this weekend. And uh, I'll see you guys on Monday because... Weekends, whether you're an entrepreneur or not, are not made to be working all the time. Thanks, Holly. We'll see you guys later. Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.